Alright, I'm going to show you how to make a backup copy of a GameCube game using your Wii. I'm on Wii System 4.3 in the menu and you need the homebrew channel and your Wii has to be hacked. So, here you go. You need this application, it's called Clean Rip. You can copy Wii games with it, but I use USB Loader GX for that, so I'm just going to show you real quick. You can go down and read that if you want to, but all right, I'm going to load. It says this author is not responsible for any damages. You can see um, base iOS 58, or iOS if you want to call that. I press A. You can select USB drive or front SD. It's USB. FAT or NTFS, I have it uh, FAT32. It says insert one, I already did. You insert it into the same, the same port that you would use your hard drive for when you back up your game, your your Wii games. I was about to say GameCube. <laughs> Press A. Reddone.org dev files not found. I don't need them. That's just to uh, confirm that whenever you copy it, that it's exactly the right size of a file that it should be according to such and such website but I already know the game is supposed to be 1.35 gigabytes I'm going to use Super Mario Sunshine sorry about the red I got some yellow light bulbs this is not a downloaded version this is the actual disc. See, there you go. Insert the disc. I think I bumped the camera. I insert it and I press A. It says initializing. And just wait a second start copying. There we go. It says it's going to take eight and a half minutes more or less so what I'll do is I'll stop the camera right here and switch over all this out so you don't have to hear about it or see it. When it's done, it'll just ask you if you want to use your USB drive to copy another game, but just take your game out and you can exit and go back to the homebrew channel or to your main menu, wherever you want to go. Then you take your flash drive or your hard drive, whatever you backed it up to, and you connect it to your computer. And you will see three files. One of them is going to be your ISO file. And you can burn it using Image Burn or Nero. Nero is the program that I use. And you can burn it to a blank DVD dash R. Some people say plus R's don't work very well, so I'll say dash R. That's what I use anyway. And you don't have to worry about scratching your regular disc anymore. You can use the Wii system to copy your... GameCube games. Alright. Alright, this is where you start burning the game. Um, first of all, I'm going to take it from my hard drive or my flash drive and I'm going to copy it to my computer. And that's what I'm doing right now. I sped it up or I edited it so you don't have to see it. Um, I'm actually using the flash drive from my PSP Go. 
it's formatted correctly so I can use it so it doesn't really matter and I'm just deleting the file right now but I use Nero to burn I I got image burn but I'm real familiar with Nero so I just go there and here you go this is all you do you select the file and find it wherever you put it on your hard drive or your your desktop and you open it put your blank disk in DVD dash are recommended and hit the burn button and it should only take about three minutes if you let it burn at 16 times comment rate subscribe